What are you girls doing? I know, it's hot, ain't it? Yeah. I put some ice in their waters and the pool and put some apple cider vinegar in their pool too so when they step on it, they drink out of it anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, I gotta rake this out one more time. And I got uh, cabbage and breadcrumbs around here. <laughs> yeah, it's hot, huh? Egg salad's always hanging around Louise. Now some of these haven't laid their first egg yet, so I'm waiting on that. But they sure are growing fast. And then we had one that was limping. We caught her. She had a little piece of round poopy on the bottom of her foot. Got that off. She's still limping a little bit. Uh, it's one of the young, littler ones. But she seems to be doing fine. Just keep an eye on her. You got to keep an eye on them. And then I started cleaning this out. I got to finish it yet. Take all their buckets, everything out of there. We clean those. I have been cooped cleaning this morning and that's going to go up there up on top of the hill there where we have some bare spots we need to throw some seed down there and then I finally got my other window in on this side of the coop so now I got one on each side so now there's a cross breeze going through which is what I wanted one thing at a time you know it's only the two of us so Doug does the carpentry and I do everything else so hopefully by spring we'll have everything done the way I want it and get this coop painted get it fixed up nice and purdy and I'll leave the bottom windows open I still have more cleaning in here to do oh, I made a mess of stuff putting the window in this morning but we did get a piece of plywood up there so that they quit sleeping up there at night and uh, pooping <laughs> I think it's tilted enough um, if that don't work, we'll try something else, but I, I need to get rid of these boards, too. I'm just going to leave the 2 by on there. Um, I don't know, I might leave that up there, but the piece of plywood wasn't long enough, so I stuck a thing up there. i got to block that somehow. But now I've got both these windows are open, so it does feel a little better in here now. Not as hot and coopy for me to clean out. i still got to clean all this out, because I just do the layer system underneath the perches so I gotta push all that out of here and then that was my good straw <laughs> that they got into I just shoved it up there so I need to take all this out re-sweep everything and I think we'll get there and then we have to put another fan in because this little one just is not working he's got a solar fan up there but it's too close to the outside, so we have to put a piece of wood up there. And we'll probably need one or two more of those just to keep our, the air flowing. But it's supposed to be sucking out the air, but oh well. And I still gotta get my shelves built. But we're getting there one thing at a time. And Duck spraying for bugs. And that is safe for animals. I forget what the name of it is. It dries in like two hours. So, fleas and ticks and stuff. He'll spray the yard like every few months. And so far, so good. And then hopefully, this week or next week, we can get rid of that camper. Which will open up that whole yard. But we still got to clean out all these sheds yet. I mean just a lot going on you don't have no help you only do one thing at a time right now it's just too hot huh girls <laughs> yeah I gotta get in there and scrub everything down I'm gonna wait till it cools off a little bit <laughs> 